Are there any lawsuits pending? There is a class action pending. Um, even the residents do not know how many people are on it. Um, Aaron Brockovich is one of the people who is, you know, uh, working as a lawyer. Um, it's, you know, and it takes time. Who knows how long it'll take? Um, they're mainly, um, their main concern is many of them are parents and parents of young children. And they're, they want it expedited because they want to make sure their kids are okay for when, yeah. not if, but when they get sick. Um, and some of the people who are filing lawsuits have said to me, look, I want two things. I want healthcare and I want them to agree to pay for any burial costs. Uh, that's, and it's heartbreaking yeah. because, you know, that's, that's all they want. Right. And I mean, beyond bare minimum, I mean, I mean, I'm like, no, you need this, this, <laughs> you know, I'm like way more like, uh, not even greedy. I'm way more, no, you deserve more justice than that. Yeah. But it shows you that's, that's what they're thinking about. Okay. So Ohio is a one party consent state, meaning you can record somebody without their knowledge. Uh, and it's legal to do that. In, in some states, both parties have to be aware of the recording, but in Ohio, just one person needs to be aware, which is usually the person doing the recording. So this is why we see a lot of these like kind of Project Veritas, uh, right. uh, secret recordings type things. In some states, you can do that. In some states, you can't. So you recently did something like, like a Project Veritas style um, recording. The person did not know they were being recorded. You recorded them for 91 minutes. Who was it you recorded and what did you, and, and some of this recording is being used in this court case that you're talking about. Is that right? Yes, and, and it's all okay. on my channel. I released the whole thing on on your on Savage Joy on your show on, on your channel. YouTube, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What? Who did you record, and what did they say? So I recorded Mark Derno, who is um, technically works for Homeland Security, um, which is the EPA, so called Environmental Protection Agency. He is the lead in East Palestine. Um, he was the one that worked in Flint that was transferred here. Um, I recorded him saying some things that is just, you know, mind blowing um, from, you know, things that he admitted he shouldn't have, uh, they shouldn't have let people go home after two days. Um, he stated that um, the EPA says things that are not incorrect in or excuse me are not correct in press conferences um i asked him why are you fighting people when they say that they are sick um and he said well we don't know that it's the chemicals causing this sickness and i said what else could it be um and he said eating meat um garlic uh, he takes vitamin B12. So that's why he thinks he's feeling better. Um, just very, and he, like he, the way these people talk to you is with such hubris. Like he was really trying to convince himself when he was saying this. Um, I was not very nice <laughs> about some of the stuff he was saying. Um, a person I was with said, you know, have you seen the pictures of the chemical burns on, you know, people's heads? And he literally laughed. Um, and she said, that's not funny. And he goes, I know it's not. And then he laughed again. Mm -hmm. Um, the, some of the stuff he says is just absolutely disgusting and, the residents can't believe that he was that transparent. I think one of the things that, uh, there's two things that really, really just stick out to me. Number one, he acknowledged the residents have PTSD. And number two, he stated, I asked him who has, you know, the hierarchy, who is it you, you're higher up on the totem pole or, Norfolk Southern. And he said, we are. And mm -hmm. I said, then why aren't you taking a stand? Why, why, what is going on? And he said, well, we're negotiating with Norfolk Southern. And I was like, hold up. 
you are higher than them and you are negotiating with them. Why? And he's like, well, we're trying to keep this relationship, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, there's the problem right there. If you are supposed to protect the people that is in your name and you are taking the cues from this multi-billion dollar corporation who is essentially at the you know bare minimum the responsible party for what is going on that is you know part of the hugest part of the problem essentially yeah, yeah. okay we're going to put a link um down below to that recording to your site um now you've got a fundraiser that you're doing so tell us about that what can people do to help the people in east palestine what do, what do they need and what is this fundraiser about yeah, so in July, I made, um, July and September, I made um, two trips with mutual aid. Um, we brought like um, diapers and pallets of water and groceries and clothing and um, things that the, you know, the, the residents requested um, that they were in need of. Um, and this time the residents have asked me for gift cards. Um, since it is a rural area, pretty much Walmart is what it is. Um, so what I'm hoping to do, and I know it's an ask, a big ask, but what I'm hoping to do is give 80 families $100 gift cards. So I put the um, amount at 8,000 in July, much, much <laughs> of because of being on Kim's show, um, we raised about 8,000 and change um, that made us able for me to go down there twice. Um, so thank you, Kim. You know, I can never thank you enough for that. Um, your viewers were just incredible. Um, so yeah, we're looking for, for 8,000 again this time. I think we have like 1,700 right now. Um, but that's the goal to give families hundred dollar gift cards so they can get what they need. They, they still need nonstop cases of water, um, diapers and things like that. And like I said, they're, they're not working either. And they, they lose any sense of anything that they even had hoped to be reimbursed for um february wow okay so these this is to help specifically people who've had medical issues and have not been able to work people who have had to spend just extra money even if they're back to work even if they're living in their homes they're spending a bunch of extra money trying to buy cases of water in order to cook right. and clean with that rather than rather than using the tap water so this is these are the unexpected expenses that people have had to incur right because of this disaster and you're trying to help kind of mitigate that so that they're not as stressed. Uh, right. All right, exactly. we're gonna put that link also to that fundraiser down below so people can definitely help donate to the cause and uh, and hopefully, you know, just not forget about the people in East Palestine who are still suffering from this and, you know, good luck to the to the legal team and Aaron Brockovich and whoever's involved uh, to, to kind of, to figure out who is responsible for this and what sort of, remedy these people should, I mean, these, this is not something that, that these people asked for. It was, you know, big companies trying to transport stuff around, uh, making a lot of money. And you're right. The, they have a lot of money and they have the ability to help these people out with their, but you know, a lot of times companies, they don't bake into their cost, this type of disaster right. and they should, they should be baking that in and thinking these things happen. And, and when they do, we should try to prevent them as much as possible. You want to mitigate. Right. Uh, but if you can't, then you at least have to set aside funds in order to help the people in those stress situations. Right. And they, they have the funds because $25 million for, for a park, they could buy every right, right. single person's house, like every yeah, exactly. person. Yeah. Um, like we don't need a park. Like don't give us $25 million. Right. Park. Right. Something else. It's crazy. But interesting. But well, I, I, it, I, it sounds to me like they did that because they don't want people building on that area. Right. They probably were like, okay. Yeah. Let's put a park here so that we can ensure no one builds here and then causes and then comes after us later. And so it's kind of saving their own skin. I mean, usually they don't do things for the for the people. It's more about themselves right. as a company. Right. right. If they didn't, it's acknowledging we messed up because yeah. you know, if we just give the money for the homes for these people, we're acknowledging it's our fault. 
Um, yeah. But also a big shout out to Government Accountability Project. Um, they, they're known for working with um, Snowden and, and people like that. They are on the case and they are doing incredible work with whistleblowers. Um, so we are really hoping that we can bust some of these people. Great, great. Um, Joy Marie Mann, thank you so much for joining us. Check Joy Marie Mann out on her show, Savage Joy, uh, her YouTube show. That link is down below. Excellent work. You know, you've been a, an organizer, an activist, a journalist doing great work. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so, so much for your help and for having me back on.